Glide turns spreadsheets into beautiful, useful apps. So any other tool that uses a spreadsheet can be turned into your own custom mobile app. Tiller updates your spreadsheets with your daily finances, using secure feeds to your bank to import your transactions. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a basic Glide app that helps you view and categorize your finances. In Glide, we'll create a new app and pick our Tiller spreadsheet as the source, and Glide will create a basic app as a starting point. We can see that the first tab of our app is showing our transactions in a list, and the second tab is showing our categories. If we click into one of these items, we can see the whole of that row represented in components. We'll come back and customize this screen later. Let's start by customizing the list layout for the transaction screen. We can choose from a number of different list styles and customize them further. We can also change which columns in our sheet show up as properties for each item. We'll make sure each item is displaying the description, amount, and category, and we'll leave the image blank for now. If we click into the details screen for one of our items, we can see that the columns in our sheet are displayed in components. Glide has many different types of components that let you view and interact with your data in useful ways. We don't need all of these columns displayed in our app, so we'll just remove some of the components. Removing the component doesn't affect the data in your sheet. We could spend a lot more time adjusting this screen with different components, but for now we're just going to add two. A notes component so that we can add notes to our transactions and a choice component, so we can easily categorize transactions. The notes component is straightforward. We just need to add it and connect it to a column in our transaction sheet where we want our notes to live. Now, when we make a note in the app, it will appear in our sheet and vice versa. Next, we'll add a choice component. A choice component works like a drop down menu in Google Sheets. You tell the component what values you want to choose from, and then that component populates a cell with whatever column it's assigned to. We'll make sure the choice component reads from the categories sheet and then populates the category column in the transactions sheet. Now we can easily categorize new items, and if we add new categories to our categories sheet in future, they'll show up in our choice component. So that's a basic start for our app, but let's look at a more developed version. In this version, each transaction has the image of its category and also has a button that takes you to that category. When you're in a category, you can also see a list of related transactions. On the home screen, there's also a chart and a message that automatically update with your app's data. To learn more about creating your own apps with Glide, head over to glideapps.com learn.